you with my food pump. I want you to leave. You are a little kid that has no manners. And you said, no, I don't want to move. Why is she sitting on the table? And I told you nicely, I'm having food here. I'm sorry about that. That's not my problem. No, yeah, and it's not my problem. just stop talking to her? It's not my problem. Stop talking to her. I mean, you weren't sitting here when they were sitting here. I went to get the food. Be considerate. Where's your whole family? You said you have a big family. Where's it at? They're coming. Just stop. Oh, they're coming. Just stop. Okay, so leave. You're making it worse. You're out of breath right now. You're doing way too much. You're just messing with yourself. Oh, I like that kid, though. That's funny. You are out of breath. You are doing too much right now. It's true. Like, girl, you are sitting on a table as a grown woman. You are arguing with a kid. Like, this is embarrassing. It's not that serious. Like, not that serious. Let's get the pops down. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're going live, Karen. Oh, no. Ken? Ken. Get out of here with that. No. Exactly what it means. Yeah. Google it. Yo, Google, Google it. it. YouTube it, bro. YouTube. What? What? Yeah. He doesn't know yeah. what Karen and Ken mean. Yeah. We don't come to fish for you to get mad at Ken. Oh, we are your spot. Oh, your spot. Ain't no rule about that. Oh, yeah. Is there no regulation? Is there no regulation? So don't give me that. Don't come to me. Disrespect me. Oh, I'm trying to have a good day. Quarantine doing my shit fishing. Don't give me no. You're telling me. I want to come and fish. I fish wherever I want to. Oh man, they're fighting over fishing laws. Okay, I mean, I don't know nothing about fishing, so I cannot speak to that. Um, I just like that he's like, okay, Karen, Ken, then he asked what it was. He's like, YouTube it, Google it. Knowledge. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I'm your host, this one, Joss Bedard. And today we are doing a part three of Entitled Customers Getting Owned. Oh. I love people getting owned because sometimes they deserve it. It's not okay when they don't serve it though. You wanna stand in the elevator with me? <laughs> and Captain, like, you're not making sense, I mean, you might as well get up at your floor. I'm trying to you're get up at my floor, I can't come close to you. Do you understand that I have an extremely compromised immune system? You are a delivery person. Can you please get me out of this Wow, she's tripping out. Okay, so apparently the woman filming was not wearing her mask properly the whole time. Now she is, but maybe she wasn't before. And this woman has a very compromised health condition. Whew, I don't know. Okay, that's a lot to dissect. We actually, in my condo, we have like a two person limit and rule. And there's a lot of people who take that very seriously. They will not get in with you or if you get in with them, they say, no, we're only allowed two people. Like it's, you know, teach their own. Let people live through this pandemic the way they want, you know? But she's literally mad that I'm sitting in a gas oh pump. she's serious. What is this Karen's so problem? Man. What is your prep? There's literally so many pumps open, dude. The f Oh my. Literally, can you see that she's saying, I want that oh one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, <gasps> what is she doing? Okay, at first I was like, don't sit at a pump, but I would only have an issue with it if there weren't other ones open. Cause it's like, why are you just sitting here? You know, like it's not a hangout spot, but if there's a ton of other open pumps, it's like, you're going out of your way to like go and like cause this unnecessary confrontation, go to another pump and you would have been out of there already. They're oh gonna put God. you in that fryer. Goddamn criminal. <laughs> <laughs> she mad cause Trump leaving that Wednesday. Oh, she's mad because Trump? Get her, get her. Get her. Get her. Cause she got two angles at her. Satan is never ending until he goes to That's right. That's why you haven't died. Satan loves huh? you. Satan, I curse you in the name of Jesus. Hey, thanks. I feel like there's more to this. Um, she talking about Satan. She's cursing this woman like she's a demon, like saying, Satan, I rebuke you in the name of blood. Like, where are aren't you? You guys are just getting some like tacos or Chipotle or something. Like, what's happening? It's best to probably just not engage, you know, avoid this. Is, like, just stay quiet. Sometimes it's better to just, you know, we can understand that you cannot deal with us. It's obvious that you don't have the capacity. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. You have, can you can you call somebody? Um, I will not call my manager on her day off. Oh. That's what managers are for, because you don't have management authority. Okay. She's not wrong. But I have the authority have to stand authority. here and listen to what you're saying, so... Like, I don't hmm. know what you want from me. I'm not going to give you a refund because you still stayed here, so... Hmm. So this is about a refund. Usually managers can only handle the refunds from anywhere I worked in customer service, but like managers, that is their job. Like I'm a manager at our company and even on my off hours, I still have to be available for things like this. Like that's just, it's almost like managers don't really get days off. Like we do, but you still have to be like available, if that makes sense. Either I'll make a phone call, I'll knock you out myself. <gasps> Don't you ever talk to somebody in their f***ing job while they're doing their best to help you. That's not their fault. Oh, oh wow. She's sticking up for the employees? Wait, let's go to your car. Let's go to your car right now. Let me get my stuff. Go to the car right now. What's up? Nobody in here is going to help you now. You disrespected him. So what's up? Didn't you just tell me to suck your f***? What's up? <gasps> get the f*** out of here. I'll give you one more chance. I'll give you one more f***ing chance. Get the f*** out. Get the f*** out. Oh my god, that's like an Uber headquarters. I think she was sticking up for the employees. What's up? Nobody in here is gonna help you now. You disrespected him, so what's up? Okay. And apparently he told her to suck his mm, so I would react the same way. I would be acting the same freaking way if some man tells me to do that. Ooh. That's a manager. The manager is telling you to pull ahead and to move on. Okay. I feel like that means they're just trying to move on from the situation. I used to be supervisor at Tim Hortons and I had a drive through at one of my stores and yes, altercations break out on the drive through and this and that. And half the time we would literally just tell them like, just pull over and we will come outside and talk to you because we have drive through times. And that means the thing, if you don't make your drive through times on your shift, you get in trouble by your manager, so. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, my God. He's trying to fight someone. I've already called the police on him, but I just wanted you guys to know. Oh, he's, oh my God, he's running. He's going to ride it. He's about to break it. Dude, I'd be scared of him like getting in on accident. What if he did bust the door or the lock came undone? Because he is coming in hot and it's clear that he don't give a flying because <gasps> there's a camera in his face and he still behaves this way and he knows that that's probably going to the police. So like, and he still doesn't care. That's when you know like a level of crazy is when they're being filmed and they literally just look into the camera like they're looking into your soul. They don't care. That's scary. Let go of my car. No, let go of my car. Let go of my car. Get it out of my face. Get the out of my face. Get go of my car. Get the out of here. No, you need to back up. Oh God, she is really standing the ground. Oh. Outside now. Outside now. Outside now. Officer. Yup. Yup. Yep. Yep. I honestly just want all this mask stuff to be over with because there's such like 
a controversy around it. Like some people are very much for it, some people aren't for it, and it causes so many issues between citizens because of their beliefs and stuff. And it's like, <gasps> I just can't wait till it's not a thing anymore. It's COVID. Why we're in front of the same house? Hi. I'm, I'm recording all of you. I'm okay. Like, I can record you too. Oh, we're right here. Issues, I can record man. you too. You're cooking. You're crap. coming over here without a mask on. We all live in the same house. I don't give a f how many. Okay, I don't give a f either. Don't be coming over here with a f attitude. You could be nice about it. You ain't gotta come over here and act like a. B You're cooking. And there's no food allowed. Okay. Well, the maintenance people saw us and they didn't say nothing about. Over here in Ontario, you are allowed to. We're in a lockdown right now, but when things were open, you're allowed to do things within your household. So if you live in like one of our student houses that have like five or six people, like that's allowed. Tricky situation though, I don't know. You're at a pool, you're on, like it's whatever their rules are. Again, half these public freakouts are because of COVID times, causing people stress. This Norwich punk, I'm a Norwich punk, that's what you just said, yo. This lady right here, hit this shopping cart in this spot, into this other car right here, look. Boom, it's smashed. Like a what? <gasps> oh my God, yo! I'm talking like a normal American. I'm so sorry. Oh and this goodness. lady called me the N word. Oh my God. Oh, hold on, here's her license plate. And here's the car that she hit with the shopping cart. Norwich is amazing. Oh my God. I can't believe that how people throw that word around and like they're being filmed and they know they are and they don't care. <sighs> it's mind boggling to me. You should feel ashamed of yourself. And the person with her, you should be ashamed of yourself that you're even with that person. I would have walked away and be like, I do not associate myself with that. I do not condone that type of behavior. That is wild. All right guys, well that's our part three. Let me know if you guys wanna see more. Leave a like on this video and subscribe so like you don't miss another one. Thanks for hanging out with us during this lockdown. I am filming from home. I'm actually in a different home right now. It's a lot, but um, hope you're safe wherever you are. Stay safe out there and um, be happy because after these videos, it's like, I just want us all peace and love, you know? Let's be happy. I was your host, Josh Bedard. I will see you next time. Bye. Is the male Karen's name Ken? I was told that it was Darren because Karen, Darren, I don't know. I don't even know why we picked Karen. Like the internet just decided that like entitled people were Karen, but why Karen? Cause I feel bad for the Karens that are actual like genuine lovely people. Cause there's a lot of lovely Karens out there. But like, what is the male Karen name? Cause I was told it was Darren, but is it Ken? And today we are doing a part three of entitlement, 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 that's a word. Good for you. If it was valid. I have to be careful when I say good for you and stuff because we only see a certain part of the clip and it's like, we don't know what she did. We don't know the whole situation. So, gotta keep that in mind. And half the time we, oops, something went by the window and it caught my attention, sorry. I've been itch. And what am I saying? <laughs>